as I've gotten older, as I've designed games, for me, the first inkling of this, that games have subtext, um, was when I finished Twisted Metal Black and I finished God of War. I was kind of amazed by things I was saying in those games that when I was designing them and making choices with the team were never conscious. It was only after the fact that I was like, oh shit, this game's about family, this game's about divorce, this game's about, you know, putting work ahead of family. As a designer and a director, and now a writer, a, a fiction writer with Scrapper coming out soon, how conscious was that for you? Because I know there's stuff in Gears in your book where you talk about your dad and your home and all this stuff, but when you were designing it, did you know it was about that or you didn't? Absolutely. Um, it was also uh, a, a very thinly veiled criticism about the war for oil. Yes. Uh, as per, per the, the Bush administration. And it's so funny, like whenever I mention that on social media, gamers are always like, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, it literally <laughs> opens up with oil derricks, like in the opening cutscene, like, like, hello. I was surprised by how and i i use this term intentionally but not disrespectfully how woke gears of war is in gears of war 2 if you read your book you're talking all about you know the the abu Ghraib torturing and all that going on and that was inspired by it and you mentioned terry shivo which is like uh when uh who's the character that kills himself with a shotgun uh ty right when he kills himself um is it he i didn't i didn't play gears 3 yet so that's i don't know that one that well but i read it in your book um and you 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 link it to the Terry Shivo story, which if people don't well, remember, so yeah, well, Terry Shivo was was the the whole Maria thing, right? Because I'm a big believer in right to death. The game is very woke. The game is very progressive in terms okay, pause, of pause on that for a second, right? Yeah, I I fucking hate the current state of the politics in this country. Mm -hmm. Me um, too. The, the the fact that like woke has become this like term. What woke really means is, you know, understanding people in a demographic other than you, especially marginalized groups, and actually having empathy for them. Correct. It's just, I, I deliberately made sure Gears had a diverse cast. You know, I made sure that the women weren't sexualized. There's plenty of, you know, room for, you know, sexualized women in in, in, in anime and, and film and TV. That you know, we we've done that. You know, I, I love Dead or Alive beach volleyball. Mm -hmm. Right. It's it's fine. But I, you know, with this gritty war, there's there was no room for big old anime titties. For me, until I really dove deep into this, what I got was the surface of it. I've so gotten uh, tied into Gears as being this kind of bro shooter, as everybody says, but it's actually not. And and I guess the question becomes: Did does that? Let me ramble for a moment. Does that bother you that a lot of people didn't get it? But at the same time, you've recently said about Lawbreakers, which really wasn't. Uh, you know, it, it, I think you had a non-gender bathroom uh, and you, you know, put in some, you know, people of color as characters and people were like, Cliff's gone woke or whatever. And I remember you were saying that maybe the mistake was making it too obvious. So do you think there's a middle ground where like Gears should have been a little more uh, clear or do you like that Gears is a bit more subversive and that's kind of the I, way to I, do I, it? I think, the, I think the key is to be subversive, especially in these divided times, right? Um, and Gears, you know, it didn't throw it in your face, you know, and people, it, it, they were playing the game and they didn't realize it. You see so many gamers rage and they're like, don't make my games political. I'm like, have you played the Bioshock games? Right, right. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. When it comes to Gears, um, you know, I, I had a message I wanted to get across and the team was on board with it, right? When it came to Lawbreakers, you know, there was some, you know, subtle stuff that was in there. The whole thing, you know, about, you know, Lawbreakers is, you know, it, you know, with my brash, you know, Cliffy B bullshit persona mm -hmm. is that it became, you know, known for the whole bathroom thing. You know, and I, again, I've said this on other podcasts, like when you're the main selling point of your game is you have gender neutral bathrooms, you fucked up. Like it could have just been like a subtle thing in the background, you know, like and, and just, it just it is it was what it was, you know. Like you can have a diverse cast. Overwatch has a diverse cast, mm -hmm. but they're, they're, they're you know the the people who were promoting it were like throwing in your face nonstop, right? And that for me, part of it was me being defiant about my political stances. It's so hard. Like I get you. I get you, man. It's hard. People tell me all the time. It's like Jaffe, you have a gaming channel now. Stop talking about politics. I'm like, I'd love to, but. There are moments where things happen, and it's it's just horrible, and you have to say art, something. Art, art is art is linked to politics. It right? is like, no matter you know, what, no matter what they want. Speak, you know, where did that but, come but from? Art, but art, art has the power to change 
people's opinions in a subtle way. You know? Okay, so you think it's more? That, I'm curious about that. So you think? I mean, certainly, if you if you uh, make it on the nose, they'll turn away. I got it. I yes. agree. But or some, pandering, right? Uh, right. But something like gears. Do you think it's like if you were to make gears again, and you were like, you know what? I think I can make the message still subtle but more effective do you think gears was able to change people's views of bush and torture and all sorts of that or do you i mean because that's, I think, that's I, what i, I, I would want on, on like son of a, uh, again subversive subliminal level right right and so also the, yeah, i don't know if you noticed but you know in gears we'll we'll take the the my anger about the war thing and put it aside and the thing about gears also was we had the characters uh, that were called the stranded and the fact that you know they were the ones who were abandoned after emergence day uh, and that was also my thinly veiled metaphor for what had happened at katrina and that yeah katrina was 2005 so you guys were like smack dab in the, in the middle of developing this i imagine when yeah, that happened that, so. that was back when, when kanye was uh, somewhat sane and he was on tv <laughs> with that fundraiser for katrina yeah with, michael uh, myers yeah and he, and he goes uh you know let's uh <laughs> George Bush hates black people. Well, we could talk. Po I would love to talk politics all day with you, but but, um, but it's 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 an intri like an what's the term intrinsically? Uh, it's it's. I, I mean, yeah, you 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 can't uh, extract it from the game. Um, but I but think the, the, the thing is, David, I have this this burning in my belly, you know, uh, about like things that I believe. You know, sure. And, uh, the, old, the older I get, the more stubborn I get. So to remake Gears today. You're stubborn now. Would you push the politics more? And if because if people knew it was as woke as it is, it probably wouldn't have done as well. So if you're going back to remake Gears today, do you stay as subversive as ever? Or because you're now stubborn and you're like, fuck it, I'm going to say what I want to say. You know, what what would you do today if you were going to remake it at, a, at, a, at an IP sort of narrative level versus mechanically? Well, you know, I still am always angry about the entire concept of war. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact of the matter, it, it would be a, a thinly veiled metaphor for the, Russia's war on the Ukraine. Okay, um, so it would still be thinly veiled. Well, no, yeah, it but, wouldn't but, be. You know, the, the, it the, wouldn't, the wait, wait, this isn't, it, this isn't thinly veiled. This is thickly veiled. So your new one would be a bit more on the nose then. Well, I mean, it would be about, the, you know, the fall of an empire. You know, the cog would have essentially been the USSR. Um, right, you right. Know, the Prescott would be Putin. Right. You know, and, and maybe I'd include like a mural of him shirtless on a horse. Right. 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 Um, to be you know, obvious about it. OK. Maybe this maybe the soldiers like vodka, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, it would, you know, it'd be about conscripting young men in, you know, who were living perfectly good lives, you know, maybe happily married with kids, you know. And right. Throwing them, throwing them into this shitty winter war, you know. Like, Gears of War is the born in the usa of video games then i think because that's, so that's a great way of putting it speaking of politics by the way don't you yeah. fucking love how so many of these idiot right-wing politicians use that song J well i know but that's what i'm saying the number of people when you say you hate war and gears is about that in some way the number of people that are like dude why can't we just go back to fucking you know red meat gears of war you know men were men women were women people were shooting fucking people go fuck your you know all that shit and it's like dude you're the guy using born in the usa for your campaign but you're in the gop it's not it's it's against you you don't even get it dude such good interview cliff blazinski thank you so much for coming by couple of things that whole interview is available now if you are a cult eclipse a member on gavin and games it will be up wednesday for all members and then it will go live for everyone for free uh on monday or tuesday of next week uh control freak this is the book it is i i don't mean to be a dick but it is surprisingly good and deep and it it's not what you think um he gets into a bunch of shit in here that uh not the least of which is a pretty fucking traumatic event that occurred to him when he was a a, a wee lad well not that wee but when he was a teenager uh it's good stuff it's excellence control freak cliff wrote it uh get it asap i'll put it on the uh links below on amazon but yeah, that's coming up. You can watch the whole thing soon. Uh, that was from our first ever Gavin Games Game Club. We'll be doing these every four to six weeks. Uh, uh, we don't know what the next game is. I think I want to do something in the horror genre, but I'm not sure yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be well and uh, consider membership. Consider subscribing. Consider all those good things that uh, make the algorithm happy and let it sleep at night all happy and cozy.